So what am I reading at the moment? So currently uh, I'm alternating between uh, two modern fantasy trilogies. Um, both are uh, heav heavily uh, influenced by um, like old fairy lore. Uh, they prominently involve um, like changeling mythology. Uh, also, uh, each features a uh, supporting character named Finn. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm really enjoying both of them. Um, I just, to me, uh, reading a series of books straight through feels slightly excessive. Um, that's why I like to break it up. And in this particular scenario, I'm just alternating between books of two trilogies. Um, and and I'm, I'm really loving them both. Uh, so one is called uh, Switched. Um, and then I'm, I think the last one I read was Torn in that same series. Uh, the other started with Tiger Tiger. And the one I'm currently on is called After Some Other Line from that William Blake poem. Uh, no, sorry. That was the last one. This next one is When the uh, Stars Threw Down Their Spears. That's the one I remember. Uh, the middle one is probably in the forest. Yeah, the middle one is in the forest of the night. That's right. All right, cool. So all from Tiger Tiger, uh, everyone's favorite William Blake poem. I remember um, a unit in uh, seventh grade English that focused on William Blake. And um, it was, it was you know, that old contrast between Tiger Tiger and the lamb. And... Uh, everyone was, was given a choice of uh, reciting and analyzing one of those two William Blake poems. Uh, and, you know, this was a class of, uh, you know, middle school boys uh, exclusively. Um, I think that two people might have chosen the lamb. Uh, everyone else went for Tiger Tiger. But, uh, I mean, just, I mean, especially for me, just like, you know, that fierce feline imagery, uh, Lots of fire, that like elemental passion, you know. That's like uh, that's hard to escape from, man. Um, hard, hard to turn down. Yes, I, I was not one of the ones who chose the lamb. Um, anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, so yeah, both the books are really good, but still, there's a moment when I start out the new one, when like there's a part of me that just longs for. The last series I was reading, you know, it's just they're like similar enough to really like highlight those differences, and that makes you know the absence of the few little things um, I like from the last one uh, seem like a more apparent lack in the new one, you know. Uh, I am pretty sure that was coherent enough. Um, but yeah, no, seriously, both are, both are great. And, uh, I'm, uh, I'm almost to the end of both trilogies, but I recently discovered that the one that isn't named after William Blake's, um, poesy, uh, has like a spin-off trilogy. So I'll check that out, uh, when I'm ready. Um, but also... Uh, I just saw the uh, Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Um, and I have to assume that the first part of that title uh, refers mainly to Eddie Redmayne and uh, Ezra Miller. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's a fun uh, it's fun, fun film, man. Uh, I, uh, I, I mean, that opening scene was, was pretty great. I missed a bit of it. Um, but uh, it, it was, you know... Uh, appropriately run wondrous. Um, also, uh, finally, I'm seeing Jamie Campbell Bower uh, play a uh, younger version um, of Johnny Depp's character in one of his movies, uh, which was what I thought that he was doing when I first walked in late to the cinema uh, 11 years ago for a showing of um, Sweeney Todd. Um, I quickly realized that I was wrong, um, but now I'm not so wrong. Um, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that's my impression of Fantastic Beasts.
Um, oh, yeah, and also uh, the music is... Uh, it, it never fails to, to you know, add, add to that whole ambience. But yeah, no, good movie, and, uh, and I'm really loving those books. So, uh, yeah, Switched and uh, Tiger Tiger. Uh, those are the places to start if you want to try uh, either of those. Um, but you probably don't. I just I just like them, and uh, and I like talking about them, and uh, most other things. I don't uh, generally turn down an opportunity to talk, make mine, make them, make those opportunities. So yeah, uh, love and luck, dudes.